You know what movie I'm so goddamn excited to see? It's not even funny. Napoleon. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, this movie looks incredible. I didn't even hear about Son, it. Son, yeah, we really know. wiped Napoleon from the history books. We talk about the French like they're pussies and they never won a war. They almost conquered the world. Come on, dude. And we've completely this. wiped that away. Hmm. Like they retreat from every battle. They're a bunch of bitches. That is our idea. That is like the British... American idea of the French. Propaganda. Mm -hmm. Napoleon was busting their ass. Mm -hmm. Now, to be fair, he's Italian. <laughs> he's from Corsica. Bonaparte, yeah. Bonaparte. Yeah, yeah, Bonaparte. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. just be honest, right? Yeah. At the time, Corsica's part of France, but he's a real Italian guy. He's got that Roman blood. We need to conquer the world. And yeah. there's no way a real French person can Every do great this. leader's an outsider, okay? Talk that he's shit. Got from Alexander Vienna. the Great was not yeah. Greek. Yeah. Well, he's Macedonian. The Macedonian, there is no Greek empire at the time. The mm. Macedonians were the empire. Mm. That's the other thing. Greece doesn't exist until, you know, so there much you go. later. Yeah. So I'm him, that that there's no thing. real Greece. Yeah. I, I know the Greeks are going to be upset about this, but, like, <laughs> Greece doesn't exist until much later. There were tiny empires that, not even empires, there were tiny, like, uh, city-states. What do they call them? Polis or something like that? Yeah. Polis. And uh, they all looked at themselves as their own independent countries. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like, yeah, we're all Greek. Yeah. Greek was the common language. Yeah, I didn't know Athens. I thought Athens and Sparta had beef the way like they do. fucking Philly and DC had <sighs> beef, but we're still American. Mm. They were like, we have beef and that's it. Like the there British no, and the French have beef. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like there's a story with like every country. Like India is like all these warring tribes and then now they're Indian. Now, but there was a great Indian uh, emperor who like organized that shit. I forget that motherfucker's name. I was just reading about it. You know, it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, same with like the Persians. Like, yo, the Persians were Persians about were that bad fucking life. And yeah. we don't hear, you know, learn about them at all. All because they're Iranian, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that about that. Son, Alex, nobody would even. Uh, this is gonna be sound crazy. Nobody would talk about Alexander the Great if he didn't take down the Persian Empire. I think he killed, or I don't know if he killed Cyrus, or maybe Cyrus died in battle. But like he took out the Persians. Nobody done that before. Yeah, because crossing them mountains was crazy. But Alexander the Great was about that business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Genghis Khan. We, my dad said, like just crazy how many people did he, he run conquered. through y'all. I don't know if he ran through all y'all, but my dad always tells me a story about like just how brutal he was. He said his whole goal when he took over one village was to be so fucking awful to them and massacre them so thoroughly, the, the next village would hear about it and be like, let's just not even. Mm. Let's surrender before they even come. <laughs> if you fight, you're going to get fucking slaughtered. Yeah, that's crazy. Anyway, yeah, this the Napoleon the shit, like, uh, I sent you that article that apparently, like, before Hitler. You, I remember you telling me yeah, this. Yeah, people yeah. in the early 1900s, and they talk about, like, the worst man ever, like, who's the most evil person you could ever, like, yeah. personify? It was Napoleon. Who wrote that article? Hitler. Hitler's friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just said They wrote it before Hitler was born? <laughs> yeah. uh, the new one? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, an yeah. odd question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did his best with that. Yeah. You no, know? the, the reason why I'm saying this is that might be, like, British propaganda. Oh. Right? Okay. Because, like... That's the thing. Napoleon, wild dude. I was talking to Shane about this, actually. We were at, at the cellar and uh, Tim. But, like, he invents the idea of the war state, which is kind of like what we all have now. Like, if you look at America in World War II, Ford stops making the cars mm. and they start making the vehicles for war, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And the whole country operates as a war machine, the military industrial complex. This idea is invented by Napoleon. It's like where, internal industry into war. The country yeah. is war. That's total war, right? Where total like the, war. The, the women are doing it, like exactly. everyone's the, involved. What we think a lot of times with total war is we think of Tecumseh Sherman, which you were referencing earlier, and that's more just like, I'm gonna blaze through everything. This scorch is during the scorch right? earth, yeah, yeah. civil Genghis war. Genghis Khan type shit. Yes, and then, and which when you think about it, it's like, it's a really tragic way of looking at war because you lose, not only do you lose all this innocent lives, but you lose all the culture, all the relics. Like, yeah. I mean, this has probably happened tons of times in Europe and like the city of Babylon is fucking done probably because of scorch or total war, whatever. But total war in terms of like everybody there is working for the cause. And I was asking the, the guys, I was like, what was his competitive advantage? And he was like, artillery. Like mm. other people had developed, obviously gunpowder comes from uh, China. Right? Sure. Uh, but it was. They invented yeah. gunpowder, right? Yeah. But, like, the cannon is Napoleon. Mm -hmm. Like, perfected. And the use of it. I mean, just, like, busting people's ass. War strategy. 
And I think what happened was since Britain, Russia, and maybe even Germany had to come together, I think they were called the Entente or something like that, come together to stop Napoleon, of course we're gonna write about him as if he was the shortest guy ever. Yeah. The guy was like 5'8", which is like normal for yeah, the Yeah, I think he was average for That's the time. a great yeah. height, I think. <laughs> I mean, I'd take it. Yeah, for I'd the time, it's like you should've been born back then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 or just be in yeah. India. I'm maybe he was there. born back then. Ooh, <laughs> he came back, you know what I'm saying? Come on, same I got body. you, let's go. Same <laughs> body, they didn't upgrade Yo, you. There's gotta yeah. be someone that that happened to, right? He's they, like a Blackberry. They reincarnated as themselves, they'd be like, fuck, I gotta do this again? Shit. 5'6". 5'6". Napoleon. But that could be Brand saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Who, who wrote say. that article? Come on, man. So wait, what were you saying about what uh, it was when I asked you about who wrote that? Oh, I mean, I thought you were just trying to get, people were trying to get heat off Hitler. They'd be like, no, Napoleon was way no, worse no, than No, no, and I think, I would imagine <laughs> that's what the British are going to be writing about this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Because if you also look at the things he does, he was like, yo, we're getting rid of monarchies. Everybody's equal. Now, he ends up in placing his fucking brother as a king of Spain. He ends up being the complete hypocrite and doing all the things that he shouldn't, but he stands for the liberation of people and equality and getting rid of the monarchy, which is oppressing these people. Now, is he using that as a tool to gain favor of the oppressed, you know, uh, working class? Maybe, that's possible. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, that part is left out of history, yeah. especially when comparing him to a guy like Hitler. Hitler wasn't, hey, yeah, we just want to liberate everybody. Yeah. He was like, nah, I'm in charge of the whole fucking world. Yeah. 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 They turned Napoleon to a psychology term. Yeah, Son, yeah, yeah. you're all, Napoleon all complex. That's all yeah. he's known for. Bro. Yeah. And that's the short guy who's just like yeah. tough all the time for no reason. No. Napoleon complex should mean like, yo, you are that guy, you're him. You're yeah, 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 you're, you're a Napoleon comments, you're him. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. him. You think that you should run the world. Yeah, you're Nothing awesome. Nothing to do with height. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm stoked to see that, man. And also Ridley Scott, like, this is the dude, the guy who's directing yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, he did, um... He did Gladiator. 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 Yeah. Like, yeah. Alien. Alien. Also, he's like a history Kingdom buff. And yeah. a little bit of a conspiracy buff. Like, he was all about that JFK shit. Mm. Like, uh, yeah. he was on Rogan recently, wasn't he? Maybe, I can't remember. I think he was on Rogan recently. When did that one come out? That's, uh, November. Napoleon Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, yeah. they always oh, save the big shit for Thanksgiving. Oh, oh really? Thanksgiving and Christmas are like big blockbuster days. Really. That makes sense. But what about the, what about the summer one? When uh, remember Will Smith? It always... feels like summer movies. And like, Dub, you can correct me. It feels like summer movies are like popcorn flick blockbusters, like Marvel and shit. Mm. Yeah. And then blockbusters that are also Oscar worthy. November and like December. Oh, because that's probably yeah. closer to the season. He's yeah. up for like Oscars and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Lincoln came out then.